Last month, we told you about a Denton County man who committed to eating only dog food. Could you eat dog food for 30 days? He decided as a challenge to only eat his company's product, dog food, for 30 days. <sighs> yeah, nothing but his dog food. He's had no sauces, no seasonings. Is this Munster Milling Company, is that right? You're eating the actual dog food that you make to prove a point. His goal was to prove that the food is healthy. Texas man ate only dog food for a month, says I feel pretty fantastic. You know, that's what I do every morning. I get up and I barbecue my dog <laughs> food. This is the craziest thing I ever heard. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Mitch? He has since lost 20 pounds. He says it's made him How healthy. How do you do this for 30 days? Hi, I'm Mitch Felderhoff, one of the owners of Munster Milling Company, and I'm eating dog food for 30 days. Just want to show you that uh, we're having a working lunch today. Everybody, uh, we ordered out, and uh, just show you what everybody's eating today. Kent got a nice looking salad there. Is that good? It's half point gone. Yeah. I got a Greek salad. And this is Mitch. Mitch, what are you eating? I'm eating one of my favorite foods. It is our chicken and pork ancient grains. And it's delicious. Oh, that looks yummy. Well, Look at that, there's some. It's even better. You can take these little chicken meatballs. Yeah. Kind of like a crouton for a bowl, but a little tastier. Mm. His name is Mitch Felderhoff, and he's decided to eat dog food for 30 days to show that we need to be aware of the type of food that we are feeding our, our dogs. Because his company makes dog food. And you're not new to this, Mitch. No, not at all. We are The business itself is turning 88 this April. Uh, we're a fourth generation family owned business that started back in 1932. My great grandfather was a sharecropper and a couple of the local farmers sponsored him and uh, started a flour mill. And after only uh, a few short years, he, he learned that he could go to Kansas and, and drive flour back to Texas cheaper than what he could mill it for. So we converted it to a livestock feed plant. And at that point in time, our great grandmother then took it, took it back over and leased it out to a, a family in town, the Enders family in town. And they ran it while my grandfather was growing up. So as my grandfather grew up, he worked at the facility, the natural, flow of things was he took over and began working at the facility, then took over as managing the facility, running the facility, and then that's where Mitch and I show up and, and we started when we were kids at the facility making samples, sacking out feed, uh, just in general working at the facility, pushing a broom, cleaning the office, doing little things like that. Um, my older brother has been in operations his whole life. He used to run some of the larger grain facilities all over the country. And so, you know, it's really, it's in our blood. It's what we do. One of the reasons we're able to make such a great product is we know where we're getting our ingredients from. I'm the guy who gets, gets down and dirty and makes all of the products. So from a formulation standpoint, I work with our third party to get the formulations correct, make sure that we're getting the ingredients in that we say we're putting in the bag. I'm, I'm qualifying those ingredients. This building behind us here was our great, great grandpa, Edward Fetty's house. And he bought a thousand acre homestead in this where we're standing right here. His descendants, us included, have uh, maintained that land since he bought it. I mean, we're real people. We're in the day-to-day -day operations of the business. We understand the product that we're making. <laughs> so what prompted me to want to eat dog food for 30 days? Well, I think it's, it's a little naive to say I want to. 
or uh, maybe that's not quite accurate. I don't really want to eat dog food for 30 days, but what we do want to do is uh, we wanted to prove that we believe in what we do. It's not that it's a, a super healthy diet for people. That's ridiculous. That's not why we're doing this. We're doing it because we want you to know we're not going to feed your dog something unless we've eaten it first. Mitch, why don't you tell them about what we're going to do today? Well, we want to do something that's a little bit different, uh, something that most pet food companies would probably never entertain the thought of doing. One of us, Chad or myself, is about to spend 30 days eating only dog food. And what? Not, Time out. You said five days. We, we just changed it to 30. Okay, so one of the questions I get a lot was, there's two brothers that own the business. Why are you the one that had to do it? The obvious answer is I'm the best looking brother. It's funny because when I'm walking around, they're, they're all like, hey, are you the one eating? No, that's my brother. My brother's the one eating dog food. Uh, look, Chad runs our operations, and when the plant goes down at uh, midnight or lightning strikes or we have product issues or someone has to go in on the weekend and fix the facility, that's where Chad's phone rings. When someone has to do something totally ridiculous like eat dog food, uh, that kind of falls into my bucket. All right, it is the day before 30 days of dog food. I've got my beautiful bride Aubrey here helping me. I need a place to keep the food that this dog can't steal from me. So honey, I need a place to keep it. What do you recommend? Um, so I was the first one to find out about his idea to eat dog food. I feel like I was pretty supportive, maybe a little apprehensive, but I've been there the whole time watching him snack on kibble and meatballs. The one I'm most excited about for a month, elk patties. Okay, that is my shelf. Roxy, you hear that? Roxy, it's my shelf. Okay, you want just a little bit? You want to share some? Okay, come on. Come here, Rox. Okay. It's me and my buddy Roxy. We're gonna share some dog food. Hi, right, Roxy. All right, Roxy, got some? Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's good stuff. So you decided to go on a diet of your own dog food for 30 days. That's correct. Nothing else? Nothing else. Just your dog food? <laughs> Only food that we make. What did your wife think about that? I mean, you, you, do you have dog breath now, or what is that? It's, is that... Uh, you know, we sit on different couches at night right yeah, now. Yeah, I bet that's right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, Lee. Is it normal for him to just, like, come home with some crazy idea, or? Yes. <laughs> What's up guys, I am on day two of the uh, 30 days of dog food. Uh, chicken for mama, some burgers for the boys, and then I'm gonna be having some freeze dried beef meatballs and freeze dried elk patties. All right, it is day four of my 30 days of dog food, and tonight for dinner I have a very awesome treat. <clears throat> Only five more. As I went through that first week, you know, the first four days was really tough. It, I didn't feel good. One of the things I did that was key was I did do some intermittent fasting. Sorry, I had chicken meatball. Um, so one of the things I like to do is I like to reconstitute it, uh, the freeze dried, because otherwise it's a little bit dry and it just gets kind of old eating dry stuff. And so I like to add a little bit of warm water first and you can see what it'll do is it'll make this meat nice and spongy. It's, it's just beautiful. Beef, turkey heart, liver, uh, a little bit of kidney fat in there even. And so when you get in there, you see it's nice and gooey. And so that it just adds a little bit of moisture to the food, makes it taste a little bit better. Uh, everyone's favorite word's moist, right? Um, so I'm gonna just dump that water out. And then... ah, that's tough. All right, we'll throw them on here real quick. I do feel good. Um, I know I'm gonna be able to finish 30 days, no problem. Um, I do miss food a lot. Uh, what I do get the chance to do is I'll reconstitute some of the beef meatballs and um, I'll throw them on the grill. And, and that adds a little bit of flavor and makes it a little bit better. 
No, you'll be fine. This is a big bite. Yo, that legit tastes like a sausage patty. <laughs> That's not terrible. Right there. That's not right, bad. Well, let me try it. Let me try it. Oh, cool. I mean, like McDonald's got worse. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's good for you too. <laughs> the it? initial taste is like it's pretty good. It's like, um, all right, I'm next. No, I mean as a as a licensed medical professional, I I can't really recommend for people to eat dog food for 30 days. Um, I've got a hard time getting people to eat spinach once. So, has anyone ever came in to you before and said they wanted to eat dog food for a month? This is the first. <laughs> this is the first. Okay, it's day 13 of the dog food challenge. Uh, I did a fast yesterday because I, I had a little bit too much to eat on day 11. So today I'm going to heat up some of my. Uh, Leftover beef, chicken, and elk freeze-dried hash that I made the other day. So. Week two's been mostly good. Um, day 11 was eventful. I ate a lot of uh, freeze-dried that day because we were kind of experimenting with different ways to make it. So after the crew left on day 11, I looked in my kitchen and I had a ton of meatballs and uh, beef meatballs, chicken meatballs that I had reconstituted and grilled, which is my favorite way to eat them. It is Sunday night and I'm here alone because apparently the smell of this is too much for the family to join me for dinner. So, I don't recommend doing this myself. I'm not a fan of leftovers, and so I, uh, I ate it all. I think it was probably typical of what happens with the dog when they overeat, you know, table scraps, or even um, if the dogs have ever had too much food, just breaking into the food bowl like ours. But yeah, Mitch, he had too much um, to eat, too much of the good stuff. And so throughout all the filming and, and just the entire day itself, I probably ate the equivalent of about three pounds of meat. And I paid the price at 2.30 in the morning that night. I'm pretty sure I could have beat Usain Bolt in a foot race to my bathroom. Oh yeah. Oh, look at all that, that good fat, that good grease, that animal fat that your dog's getting when you feed this. It set off a light bulb that, you know, how often do we do this to our dogs? We're having a barbecue, we have friends over, and we just keep feeding them, and you know what they do? They keep eating them. And so, when I've gotten food in front of me, I just keep eating too. Dog food is extremely calorie dense, and most dogs aren't very active, and so people will feed two, three cups a day to their dog, thinking that's what it says on the bag, and the bag may, and the dog may only need a half a cup a day. As dog owners, we need to make sure that we measure the dog food every time we feed the dog. As dog owners, we always want to give an extra good treat to them. You know, I hadn't been eating as much, obviously, because it's dog food, so it's not as excited to get hungry. Just completely overloaded my digestive system and my body took care of that for me. Don't overdo it. And that includes treats throughout the day too. You don't want to overdo it on treats. If you're feeding your dog treats, back off on the amount you feed them. I mean, so much of today's American diet, really we've gotten into such a pattern where we're eating out of habit. We're not even eating when we're hungry. We're just eating out of habit. It is so easy to regain your health that so many Americans are losing whenever you eat to live instead of living to eat. Most of the dogs that come in here are fat. Because in the United States, we love by feeding. And if it doesn't eat, Today, we're gonna to pick a different food and feed it, and better food, and better and better and better. It may be not eating because it's full, but that doesn't, that doesn't count toward anything. We still want to see it eat. So, uh, one of the things I've learned in these 30 days is uh, I don't clean my dog's bowl enough. Uh, I got to looking at my bowl after the second time I used it, and it was pretty gross. It had lots of oil in it. Uh, oil sits there for just a few days. It can start to harvest bacteria. We don't clean our dog's bowls enough. We're going to start now. Uh, I recommend you do the same thing. Try to clean them every day if you can. So um, I've got my little buddy at home, Cooper, who loves to feed our dogs for us, and I know he's going to volunteer to clean our dog's bowls. So clean your dog's bowl. Say bon appetit. All right, just finished another workout. Just mixed up some uh, freeze-dried meal toppers with my uh, shake here. Let's uh, let's conquer this warm broth. Oh, 
<clears throat> not gonna lie, I let that settle. Um, there was a big chunk at the bottom and it, it was not easy. Um, I need to get a little uh, shaker spring in here. Oof. You documented all of this on video for the world to see. What was the thoughts from your, fr your friends and family when you said, hey, look, you know what? I'm gonna eat dog food for 30 days. Did they all go, what? Everyone pretty much thought it was a crazy, but you know, there's a few of them that were like, hey man, let's go get it. You know, uh, my brother, he was on board right away and uh, the wife was on board, but you know, some friends and family, you know, they kind of look at me a little differently, but they always have. All right, just got home from work. Aubrey called me, said her and Nolan are cooking dinner tonight. Can't wait to see what they have. I'm gonna go in the kitchen and see what's going on. Well, tonight we thought it would be a great night for some beef meatballs. No, we thought that we're gonna we're gonna put some water in them and throw them on the grill because we knew they were gonna be. Awesome, show me how easy it is to fill it up with water, Nolan. It has definitely affected us. You know, we went to Great Wolf Lodge as a family and Mitch had to bring his bowl and the dog food. And then, you know, going out to eat after church on Sunday, it's it's a little different now with dog food and bowls. All right, it is Sunday after church and a lot of times my family, Chad's family, meets up for lunch afterwards. Chad was nice enough to get her early and get food order for everyone. The problem is, all I got is an empty plate. So it looks like I'm gonna do a little intermittent fasting today. And that's just where you kind of skip a meal, so. Hang on, Mitch. 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 Look what I got for you. Right here. I didn't forget about you, big guy. Yes. Yes. More dog food. All right. This is uh, second roll food. I'm getting treated like a royal here. year. Uh, Mitch is always... He's always going to be outside the norm. And I think we've seen it come out in this 30 days of dog food challenge. Today, um... We're gonna have some uh, ancient grains ocean fish and some chicken meatballs for lunch. In case you're wondering about my enhanced skin and coat here, uh, ever since I went to Great Wolf Lodge, I think some genetic differences started taking place. I'm starting to turn into my own being. Uh, plus, it's very soft. It's very soft. I think it's all the extra biotin and vitamins and minerals that I'm getting out of my food. So again, lunch, there it is. Ocean fish. Ah. I said, I, I'm totally confident in you eating the dog food and surviving because you can do that. There's, I'm sure there's plenty of people on the internet that, that have done it. All right, we're about to go find some friends in the office to scare. So Mitch's coat is really shiny now. We've noticed that. His hair is getting thicker. And uh, I believe he's growing hair on his knuckles also. Mitch likes to joke around, so he bought a dog costume, I guess, and so we were scaring people in the building. He was scaring people in the building of the day. It was our job to coax them out of their office. You know, I've got to get some stuff ready for Mitch because I am his personal chef, you know? And I just figured I'd walk back here and I started looking at Shut up! <laughs> yeah. Come on, ladies first. <laughs> So the, uh, the girls in the office back in Munster brought me a little gift. I'm gonna check out and see what they got for me. This is day uh, day 19, so I've got 11 left. Oh, maybe some jewelry? <laughs> a dog tag. So I will put this on my keychain if I get lost. And so hopefully they got the right number. Yep, 940-759-2287. If you got any questions, call the office or if you find me, call Munster. Okay, so it is day 20, we're having dinner, and uh, let's just take a look at what other people get to eat at the house tonight. Uh, Noah, what do you got? Waffles. Waffles. Cooper, what do you got? Waffles. Mama, what do you uh, got? Paleo lasagna. Paleo. Nash, what do you got? Waffles. Nash has got waffles. <laughs> All right, my turn. Mmm. Mm. Must be yummy for them. Only 10 more days. <laughs> 
We're almost done. <laughs> okay, I'll try one more. You wanna try one? Yeah. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> what a try. Oh man. <laughs> Is that yummy, Nolan? <laughs> don't try this at home. Don't, don't feed your kids dog food. You know, I think maybe the reason a lot of people don't want me to eat dog food alone, I, you know, look, I'm, I've got a lot of support behind me on this thing. I've got, you know, my brother, I know he's cooking the food, so I know it's going to be good. Uh, we've got employees that have worked with us for 20, 30 years. I've got a great group of mentor and friends, and, you know, they see me eating dog food by myself, and I don't know, I guess they just don't want me to have to eat, eat alone. And so, you know, I've had a lot of people that just, they'll sit down and eat dog food with me. All right, here we go. Ready? Godspeed. Three, two, one. It's so dry! <laughs> so most people's reaction when they taste it for the first time, they're caught a little bit off guard because it's it's not as bad as they think it's gonna be. Oh, all right. Mmm. Mmm. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's still not great, but you know, overall, like you know, it kind of tastes like a you know an old cereal, like a, a great nut cereal, but it does have a hint of protein flavors. So like they tell there's meat in it. I know what it's like to eat like a dog. And I saw the benefits of changing my diet to what we feel would be the optimal way to feed a dog. And, and tremendous benefits, not just little ones. All right, just enjoying some lunch. A lot of weight loss, improved energy. My family's got a history of rheumatoid arthritis and you know it's not uncommon for me to have chronic joint pain i don't have joint pain anymore you know my wife and i were talking uh like two months ago and we were we had just emptied another bottle of ibuprofen because i was getting headaches every day like i was literally taking ibuprofen every day i didn't take it one time this month and i didn't need it growing up uh, we had show cattle uh, we worked with dairies we worked with uh high-end performance horses, and you can always see the role that nutrition played in everything. And so, I'm a, a very big believer that, you know, what you put in your body is is what's going to uh, ultimately uh, result from the outside and uh, just from an overall health perspective. You cannot run your spoon. All right, so this is our small bag facility. So this is where we package all our freeze-dried, our small five-pound bags of dog food. Let's uh let's take a walk. What's up, Crystal? Hi, Chad. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. So this machine right here is a screener. It takes away some of the bigger pieces, gets rid of some of the smaller pieces, so we can try and get a nice, consistent product every time. So this is just beef liver. It's pure. It's one ingredient. If your dog has a sensitive stomach and you're not really sure what treats you can give it, beef liver is an easy one. The other thing you can do with it, it crumbles real easy. So you'll notice it just turns into a powder when I when I squeeze on it. You just crumble it on top of the food, just like that. I also like to toss them at my dog. Mmm, that is good. I'm gonna go get some water. <laughs> well, that is all stuck in my teeth. You know, I've got a 12 and 14 and a half year old yellow labs. They're old dogs. I want them to be as healthy as they can for as long as they can live. I don't want to have to put a dog down at the age of seven because it got cancer, or because it was obese, or couldn't handle diabetes. You can feed the cheap grocery store foods or the cheap commercial brand foods, and yeah, maybe your dog will do okay for a while until it gets sick. Once it gets sick, it's expensive. Do I think Munster's the best? Yeah, I do. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be biased. But there's a lot of good foods out there. Uh, and, I, and I'm not saying everybody's bad either or anyone's evil. I'm just saying the system is broken. A lot of people are doing what they need to do because they're trying to protect the share price. For 88 years this April, our responsibility has been for the animal for 88 years and it's gonna continue to be for the animal. It is uh, day 23 of my 30 days of dog food. I've only got seven left. Uh, one of the things I haven't eaten yet, beef and chicken, freeze-dried meat patties. You can really taste the liver in these. <laughs> Uh, having lunch today, 
decided that I like the grill patty too much yesterday. I came out and threw some beef meatballs on the grill. I'm up at Munster today. I'm on day 26, and I've only got What do you think? Taking off a piece of that? Mm. Hey guys, Mitch, I'm on day 27 of my 30 days of dog food, and I have three more days. I got some competition Ooh. for dinner down there. There you oh go, boy. sweetie. Do I have to share? <laughs> yes. There's two more days left. He looks great, said he's lost weight. I'm actually considering uh, trying it myself for a little weight loss, but you gotta love it. Gotta feed Roxy. Hey guys, Mitch, I'm here at 96.3 KSCS with Hawkeye and Caitlin. I'm on day 29 and I have one, one day left. So we're pulling in here and we are going to uh, at the Munster Family Medical Clinic and we're going to go over the final blood work after uh, kind of compare what we did for the, the day one and then the last day. And we're going to see what changed, what didn't, what's good, what's bad. Let's go find out. Uh, waiting to, to get the final results on my last round of blood work. I'm a little anxious, honestly. Um, I, I got a little bit of a scolding last time because my triglycerides were uh, uh, double kind of the, the limit that they should be at and my uh, cholesterol was through the roof as well. You know, I know from a weight standpoint it's good and I'm, I'm hoping the blood work uh, shows that I've made progress there as well. Hey Mitch. Hey, how are we? I'm good. You survived. I did. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> so what, what changes have you seen? You know, I, I, uh, a lot of the headaches, like I haven't had any. They went away after about a week or two. Wow. Uh, joints are feeling great, which I guess Losing 30 pounds makes it... Absolutely. Makes that kind of natural. So a little hungry because I haven't eaten quite as much as I typically would. Right. But, you know. Um, Consuming dog food for a month will <laughs> decrease your <laughs> it'll decrease overall the intake. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, when Mitch initially came in and had the labs drawn, they, they weren't terribly bad. But, you know, what was concerning was the triglyceride levels were 300. So that was really... Um, twice the normal limit. Um, whenever you have high triglycerides, it's going to increase your risk of heart disease and uh, even diabetes to some aspect. When we look at your metabolic panel, your, your liver enzymes were not abnormal. However, look how much they have decreased with oh, your wow. diet. What's so, this yes, yeah, so, so the ALT, it went from 70 to 36. That's a significant reduction. Um, you know, something that we should comment on as well is that your um, electrolytes did not change. You know, there was no loss of, of potassium or calcium that, or even protein levels. In fact, your protein levels went up just a bit. So, oh. so that's great. Your blood sugar was normal beforehand. It was 89, but it did improve to 74. Oh, so, wow. So that's impressive. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and Take I, that I diabetes. Said, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's what I said. So cholesterol. Okay. Oh. Your cholesterol... Oh. The last time, so one month ago, it was it was minimally elevated. Your t overall was 226. It should be less than 200. It dropped to 162. Bad cholesterol went from 146 to 106. So 40 point reduction. And triglycerides. This this is probably what impresses me most. Okay, so you had high triglycerides beforehand. Yeah. Um, 300. They should be less than 150, and they're now 88. Wow. Yeah. So. With the 30-day dog food diet, I mean, his triglycerides were 88. So it went from 300 to 88. And I'll tell you, this is the first time I've ever seen somebody's triglycerides drop from just a lifestyle change that significantly in 30 days. So definitely no, no adverse effects in your labs. Your labs only improved. And I wouldn't say it was, you know, it was a dramatic improvement. Good. Everything I see here is, it's great. Awesome. Yeah. There's so much tainted food, and not only in human consumption, but pet consumption as well. And that's something that is just, it eases my mind. I've got peace of mind. I know, uh, I mean, I'm feeding my dog to live a long, healthy life as much as she can as well. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, 130 or 76. I'm excited. Uh, and the wife will be happy too. 
because we had a nice long talk about my triglycerides and cholesterol after the last appointment. So uh, I feel very good. And so I knew I would lose weight and I knew that eating a lot of uh, protein and fat and you know red meat was frowned upon by you know much of society but much of society is working off of bad outdated information that's what you want you want good results you're not trying to, to necessarily prove something right or wrong you want you want to do what you're supposed to do to get there and we did so why does it look like I just got done crying because I'm cooking about 60 beef meatballs and these things have so much fat in them, the flames just keep coming and the smoke just keeps hitting me in the eyes. This is the meatballs. We're cooking them for Operation Kindness. We're gonna be serving my last meal. I've got some friends coming to join me. It's gonna be a good day, head there. We'll see you in about, oh, I don't know, an hour. Well, today he celebrated his final day on the dog food diet by teaming up with Operation Kindness to find some forever homes for some dogs. We're at Operation Kindness and we are adopting some dogs today. Have a good day, Nikki. You're having a great day, Mitch. Thank you. Hey, glad to be here. What's your favorite dog food? Monster. Monster. Eddie, how are we? We are awesome. It's what a do, beautiful day. What are we doing today? We're having Mitch's final day of dog food. Chad's picking us up something good. Uh, little dog food. Little, little barbecue sauce. Yep. Little barbecue sauce. Sauce, little elk copper on the top of it. Excellent. Excellent. I'm excited. Wild game, I'm right? Excited. You want Ryan. Some fat too? Hey, how's Ryan doing? Excellent. You ready to snack on some dog food? Whatever you tell me to eat, I'm eating it. <laughs> you hear that? Whatever I tell him to eat. Let's chat down. Let's do it. Those are the beef meatballs. Mmm. Oh yeah. Dilly dilly. Cheers. Good. <laughs> Good. Cheers. These meatballs are actually pretty good. Good. That's really good. Hey, dog. Would you give it to your dog? Sure. Yeah. You like these? Yeah. You know, coach the kibble and get it. All right. <laughs> and look, our whole company is excited about this. Like, we're all glad to know we stand behind what we do so firmly. We have a passion for helping animals, and so we said, "Hey, let's let's do something good for the dog with this thing." And so we showed up at Operation Kindness on February 1st on Saturday, and we partnered with another retailer of ours, and we covered the first hundred dollars of adoption fees. What we have here is we we have a family, and. Our, our customers are included in that. Yeah. All right, Penny's gonna try it. Penny! She's hesitant, she's nervous. Now she's realizing it's not that bad. It's pretty good. Look it's at that. I told you. Good. On it's cue. Like a hamburger. It does taste like a hamburger. Wow. Okay, so we are done with the Operation Kindness event. We're headed back, and I think it's safe to say everyone is a little bit exhausted. They're all asleep. I have eight more hours. It's only four. Eight more hours. And then you'll see what I eat next. So what is the one thing that when you're done with your 30-day dog food challenge, what's the Which one thing Sunday. you're going to eat? I'm going straight to Marty B's in Argyle, and I'm ordering everything on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it is day 31. I'm here at Marty B's. I finally get to eat real food. No more dog food. We've got some uh, pulled pork and brisket nachos. And we've got my favorite which is a giant jalapeno stuffed with brisket and cream cheese wrapped in bacon and I don't know if it gets better than that but to top it off I get to dip it in ranch so 31 days it's over oh. Mm. Yeah. Oh my God. Long 30 days. so I think one of the biggest surprises for me in this whole process was how much we feed our dogs. I control what I eat. Your dog doesn't control what it eats, you do. So if you want your dog to lose weight, stop feeding it as much, get rid of the junk treats, take your dog on a walk, and then let's talk about a feeding program that's right for your dog. 30 days, we did it. 30 days, we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. 30 days, we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. 30 days, we did it. We did it. We did it. 30 days, we did it. Thumbs up, baby. Yeah. Thank you.